Hello, Kappa Day 167. The video is for yesterday, and I started my day with uh, fixing the trial, like integrating. Like, I talked with a guy who was doing the integration startup for other startup people, and yeah, I thought about API integration. Uh, and like, it's never fun, like, it's so annoying to go through the documentation like it's confusing uh, it's misleading sometimes and you know yeah I guess the problem is like you gotta look through the documentation for like where the parameters are passed and like sometimes it's not passing that API endpoint and you gotta like do another request like, even though they say it's available anywhere like yes I know it, it provides a lot of values by like not me not having to having the need to you know, process all these payments and invoices and they have not even emails um, invoice emails yet it's never just it's never a fun experience like uh, just frustration frustrating like uh, for example, one, one thing that I said, like check out, like check out give an example, and like following that example, like you don't, you can charge people, but it doesn't show, uh, it doesn't show the trial, like it doesn't, it doesn't do the trial, it shows the trial, but it just charges it right away, and what I was doing wrong was like instead of buying items, I had to specify subscription items and that wasn't in the example given I had to go to the documentation and then figure it out and you know there are a lot of like other limitations that's not available in the documentation like you know if I set trial ends I cannot set trial period days in the app or wait like sometimes the documentation doesn't show the typing of the parameter so like it, it can be array or it can do that uh, object or hashes they call it um, and one more that I was frustrated with was how Um, what was it? how it says like you should set the uh, trial ends to you know two three minutes ahead to test out the uh, trial ending like it says that in documentation and then when I do it you know it just gives you like errors like if that 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 there's a minimum of two days um, to to set the trial periods even in test mode uh, yeah it's just tricky you know like sometimes it's out of out of sync with the documentation and the coding yeah that might be the biggest problem uh, that's why golang is a, such a popular language because it's self-documented that like it just generates documentation automatically um, especially around typing and the argument required and that's such a nice uh, nice foolproof for the future um, I think what would be nice too on top is add some like validation logic in the documentation so like not just typing but maybe some like one step more abstract like i know you cannot do all logics uh, built in the documentation and many of them can be internal but and, and also like related to other places you know like a little higher than typing something like it has to be like int higher than this numbers etc yeah Yeah, that's why GraphQL is nice. Yeah, it's all, it automates the documentation. Like, having a good documentation is the way to go in the programming language, it seems like, in the future.
Yeah. Like documentation that's easy to be produced and in sync. Yeah, being in sync is another uh, universal universal benefit. <coughs> uh, that solves the friction of economic problems, anyways. Um, so yeah, so I I I fixed the trial and uh, um, everything is connected. So yeah. No, Stripe integration is uh, down as the first version. Uh, it should be able to process it now. I don't know how to work with the email, but it should be okay. Uh, reasonable enough to start charging people, I would say. Okay, so see ya. Bye.